use Nmap and other tools to fingerprint an OS plus its services. Because once we know the exact version of the operating system and the services, we can go looking for vulnerabilities and exploits. So let's do that. OK, so I have a couple of test VMs here. I have an old Linux machine called Metasploitable. You can download it for free. I have an XP machine with services running on it. And I have a Kali Linux 2018. I'm going to use Kali Linux to scan these guys and see what they are, see if they've got some vulnerable services. So just taking a look at Metasploitable here, it's this little one right here. Let me just log in, MSF admin. And the password is MSF admin. You can't see it. They don't echo it there. And um, if I type ifconfig right here, I can see that this guy has an address of 228. No mouse here. It's all command line. So it's got an address of 238. Oh, sorry, no, no glasses either. Address of 172.30.1.238 under Ethernet 0. That is the address I'm interested in. And then um, I believe that my XP machine, which we put a hacker in there, who is, by the way, an admin. Let's go into hacker and let's let me in. <laughs> so much fun. Um, let us move this over so we can see it a little bit better. And we're going to just double check the IP address. Then we're going to have Nmap scan these and fingerprint the operating system and any of the services running. So as soon as this thing comes up, meanwhile, let's go take a look at Kali Linux. Kali Linux is ready for us to have some fun. I have launched the Metasploit framework right here. And like I said, um, this is for other classes, but I hope you join us in Pentest Plus. OK, so it's ready for us. And uh, let's just go back and make sure XP is all set, that we're logged in. Is it ready? Yeah, OK. All right, so um, we'll just do a uh, quick take a look at um, XP. What is your IP? Don't care about the hardware wizard at the moment. Really don't care about that at the moment, not for what we're doing. And let's run, uh, or actually, let's just run line CMD, IP config. Yes, it's still 226. OK, so I've got 226. And I also have in uh, Metasploitable, the other guy, I also have, so I have 226 and 238. Those are my two targets here. Let me go over to Kali, and let's end map. And um, we could do the whole subnet, or we could just do a few things. Um, let's just say we didn't even know the IP address of those guys. Uh, let's nmap and let's um, tack O and tack A. So it's going to take a little bit. We're going to try to fingerprint the operating system, and we're going to interrogate any open ports. And this is 172.16. Not 16, sorry, 30. Dot, and what was this again? Oh, let me just double check our um, subnet mask here so that we're not going on and on when we don't need to. Uh, this guy is a, this guy is slash um, uh, 240. So 255, 255, 255, 240. That's a uh, slash 28. So uh, let's go slash 28 here so we're not wasting time on stuff we don't need to. Uh, so over here, 172.30.1.0. Zero. Now, hang on a second. The slash 28, we're all on the high end, aren't we? Got to make sure that we're actually covering everything properly. So um, let me go back to this one here. Just double checking our subnet mask. Looks like Hyper-V gave us a custom mask. So going back to this guy. Uh, so we are up above with a slash 28. That means we are going in increments of, um, let's see, what is it? One, two, four, eight, increments of 16. So um, if this gets a little bit hairy, we can just say slash 24, and it'll just take a little bit longer. Or we can just focus on one of these. We'll just focus on one of these uh, guys right here, So rather than a mask. So it's 172.30.1.230. 
uh, this one is 239 okay and so let us focus on this one because I don't want to waste too much time here 1.239 and let's just let it rip and so it's going to find this thing it finds that a host is up let's see if it's really up it's blocking oh I did 239 it should be 238 sorry about that 238 enter let this thing run and um, while this is uh, going it's taking the time to interrogate the operating system in any open ports and we should see if it can identify the uh, particular services by their name and their version then we can just go online and search for exploits and see even if Metasploit has exploits for them. So uh, we'll just let it run a bit. We'll come back to this in just a moment. Okay, so it looks like Nmap gave us something. We're going to scroll back a little bit here and look at all of the results. We're just going to take a look at some of these. Um, we've got some pretty verbose output here. So let's see. It shows that uh, the host is up. 977 ports are closed. That's fine, but right off the bat, it found port TCP 21 open. It's an FTP service, and it is VS FTPD.2.3.4. And we would search exploit DB to see if we could find an exploit for this, which I happen to know that it does exist. And let's see. So it allows anonymous logins. That's cool. And there's more information about this version VSFTPD 2.3.4. We'd be looking for an exploit for that. And let's see. Oh, this thing also 22 T, uh, TCP. It's OpenSSH. So we'd see if there are any exploits for OpenSSH 4.7P1. And let's see. How about Telnet? So the Linux Telnet D, uh, that's also open. How about Postfix SMTPD for SMTP uh, port 25? And um, we could go on and on. So what we've done is we have interrogated all of the ports that are open for details about themselves. Now let's go back. How about the OS itself? So um, let's see. Our output here, maybe we'll have to go down farther. So we see all this port information, which is so cool. Oh, open VNC. VNC. And we see the version number, and we see X11 and IRC, and all these things. Apache Tomcat. We could look for um, uh, we could look for vulnerabilities for this, and so all of these details here. And oh, here it is. This is the part I was looking for. It is running Linux 2.6. The kernel is actually somewhere between 2.69 and 2.633. It couldn't determine that. Let me go and see if there are vulnerabilities just for Linux 2.6x. So that is how we fingerprint an operating system and services.